I've had no sleep. I went to Nemesis Reborn, and now I'm in Blackpool because we're going behind the scenes of the ghost train. I think dedicated is an understatement, but I just want, I just want to sleep. <laughs> but I'm so excited at the same time because I've always wanted to do this. And uh, the VIP events at Pleasure Beach are pretty incredible, so I couldn't turn down this opportunity. I'll see you inside. Everybody's coming out and we're going in. Once again, thank you Pleasure Beach. Lovely little uh, badge there ahead of the tour. It's a bit nippy. It's definitely colder in Blackpool than it is at Alton Towers. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh. I'm half asleep. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Ghost trip. Ghost trip. Some uh, spiders since the last time I saw it over there. It'd be nice to see that at night time all lit up as well. Got his Ghostbusters top on. Of, uh, this year. I feel like I'm on Most Haunted now. <laughs> 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 <Start> screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tom, you're right. Yep. You know, it's the person at the back that gets picked off first. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's four sections to the ghost train, and we're in section one at the moment. And then when we go upstairs, we'll be into section two. Creepy riding when you're on your own in the it's car. Odd, isn't it? Yeah, there's, it's got a really weird vibe to it. I quite like that. Yeah, I can never put my like, finger on what it exactly is. Missing posters of people who yeah, so won the competition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared, Chris. I'm scared. I'm scared. So where are all the sensors Your placed for it? The sensor yeah. sensor down the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a di I've never seen that before. So no matter how many times you ride it, you still stuff that you miss the wrong noise. Right, because of how uh, dodgy this looks, I might I might put the camera away for this one. Oh no, seems to be doing okay at the moment. Going out the pull up, we've got the anti roll back. Yeah. And then the chain is the same chain as the one on the downward part. Right, that's okay. When you're on the ride, the last one drops down. But not so. <laughs> ah, new scenes, eh? Yeah. How much creative input do you uh, have in like the individual scenes? Is it more like 
we have a, um, a part of the company called PB Studios, yeah. who basically a guy called Adam and his team, and they look after some of the shows, but also the creative changes. They're yeah. also attached to the paint shop, and so all the repainting that you've seen on this ride and on the Alice in Wonderland is all carried out by them over the winter. Right, brilliant. See, these are also the same people that did the ice, um, the old ice room in Valhalla. I love, I love the effect on that. It's cool. Yeah. This one does usually trigger from back there, mm. so. <laughs> Got some of Ben's candles there <laughs> on display. <laughs> Big shout out to Ben. <laughs> That's brilliant, that. Yeah, sure. Oh. This game pop up now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's the drop. We, obviously we can't go down it, so we've got to make a U-turn in a minute. So, yeah. This is the part where you start regretting all your life choices. making our way back on ourselves now. See, I'm giving a big shout out to Ben again, making those candles. Let's walk in there backwards to the next room now. We're having, we're having a, a roll back here, a roll back. Problematic. Let's go down the back makeshift steps. New uh, monastery scene, brand new for 2024. I always come round here too quick, I never see any of this. What comes up must come down. Obviously, watch your head here, guys. You need to watch your head on there. Ooh. There's another one here as well. I'm alright, I'm sure, but. <laughs> With you saying in the safety briefing about don't climb in the bed, have people actually attempted to climb in the bed? Usually, staff. Yeah. <laughs> Daunting walking through it towards yeah. it. Yeah. It's very disorienting. Yeah. Just a box with it. I've never even seen that box before. Never. 
Is it only your favourite bit because your portrait was hanging up in here? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> It's so creepy this bit, it's so creepy. And the scariest part of the ghost train. <laughs> and, and, and just like that, we're out. The first Pleasure Beach fan club certificate of 2024 right i enjoyed that very exclusive love that andy did it for us as well leading the way i thought you yeah. see so much you do see so much felt as though we're, we're walking through or maybe a little bit more in depth but that was just up to me and asking the questions and anybody else asking the questions but uh, no we've got a in this lovely british rainy weather we've now got a picnic in the steeplechase gardens with a donut and a, a cup, and, and a cup of coffee, <laughs> winner. Oh, it's lovely picnic weather. You're looking forward to your picnic. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm freezing. It was, it was actually warm in the ghost train. Well, no, 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 was it? Like a massive shot. Yeah. Like a drown rat. I look like a drown rat. Picnic, yay. <laughs> oh, see, this is what I love the most about these VIP events. He's, he's kind of. It's strange because last time we had like guides taking us around from one group to another and this one's much more do it in your own pace you don't, you don't need to be over here for a certain amount of time and you, you can take your own time around the ghost train come back whenever you feel like it it's much more relaxed and you kind of left to your own devices until you reach the other end so it's nice because you can just take it at your own pace and soak it soak up the atmosphere this rainy rainy atmosphere i'm not entirely sure Where's the steeplechase guard? I'm, I'm guessing just around the track layout. You can go on the carousel. If you want to go on the carousel, it's completely optional. And I see some budding content creators whipping the phones out for a very, very unique Pleasure Beach POV without the need for public liability insurance. And we go in here now. We, we show our little badge and we get donuts and a hot drink. Keeping my hands warm. <laughs> these come on get in my belly donuts ready and waiting two donuts two donuts and a hot chalky included with hot drink in hand and this beautiful weather we're going into the gardens of steeplechase it feels weird coming through this way right which way are we going now <laughs> straight up the urge the urge to straddle <laughs> No, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I walk in the plank, huh? No pressure, no pressure. In front of Sean for the whole of the last one. And I thought, if I fall. Looks like we made it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the grids over there. No, that's a nice view of that. Yeah, it is. Oh, lovely picnic weather, this. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> well, the weather is bloody awful. Just doing stuff like this is actually pretty cool. It feels exclusive, feels unique and it gives you a bit of appreciation for the ride even if it is a ride that at some point may have been on the chopping block at Blackpool Pleasure Beach but it is a very old ride but it is the only one left in the world so will it stay or will it go? Right, and that was the behind the scenes VIP experience at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I enjoyed it, I loved the exclusive access. 
I uh, think it's a little tiny little bit pricey for what you get to be honest compared to the other ones felt a little bit more value for money but included with a hot drink and some donuts is great all the same very exclusive very unique and if you want to come down and appreciate some beautiful rides here at Pleasure Beach lots of history lots of nostalgia then you know exactly what to do you don't need to pay to be a VIP fan club member you just head on over to the VIP fan club page type in your email you receive updates of the events and you just pick and choose which ones you want to do until next time I'll see you in the next one bye Bye.